What's up, YouTube? I am back. It's been a little bit of a long time before as I made a video. Um, actually, I've been rearranging things, making things for the studio. I've been on vacation, you know, kids are off of school, gotta make something fun for them. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about a few things that I've done in the shop, well, studio. So stay tuned right after this intro. Thank you for watching that. If you are a newcomer here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys are a returning person or a returning viewer, thank you for your support. Please hit that like and subscribe button like always. Let's get on with the video. So, um, if those of you have, that have been following me have seen me work on a few things. So I had got into a small uh, situation on the sublimation printer that I have. Um, I'm not sure if it was ink related, but I decided to go with a different ink and we are gonna try that. I'm gonna leave that for another video because I have to actually get in there. And I've gotten a few comments on different profiles to get their colors right. So we're gonna deal with that on another level. Um, yes, I did end up getting a XP 1500 to do a bigger sublimation printing. I know I can use it for DTF, but if those of you know, I have the 1400 back there that I am going to be using for DTF. So that printer is a little bit more forgiving than the XP 15,000. So the 15,000, I'm gonna use it for sublimation as of this point. And if I like the way it works, I am gonna get another one and I will make the other one into a DTF as well as the 1400. So I wanted to show that video of me putting the new ink and everything into the printer, but um, let me see if I can bring you guys here. So because I wasn't able to, I had cleaned all my dampers out. But if you can see, if you look at the bubbles, there's still distilled water in there. It's not completely dried. So I wanna, you can see at the bottom there, right here, there's still a little bit of water in there. Uh, also, sorry, I. If you can see, there's still condensation inside the actual tanks. So I'm trying to let it dry. And trust me, it's been drying for, I want to say, about a week and a half now, it's been drying. I have the lines out. Every Everything in here is nice and clean. I re-greased the, all the rails that it runs on. Um, my, actually, there's a tank back here, which is your waste ink tank. I actually uh, cleaned them out, but I'm not gonna be using it. I actually ran an external waste tank. And I have another one here for the XP once it comes in and I convert it. So all those come down to here. So as you can see, I have the, the 2800 and the XP 1500. They're both gonna be running external waste tanks. So I know that once I go to start this up and purge it, being that the waste the waste tank is at 95%, I'm gonna have to pretty much clean it out, you know, and not clean it out, but um, reset it. I'm gonna have to reset the waste tank. So that I'm gonna leave for another video as well as once all these cartridges dry out, as you can see the dots on the distilled water dots inside of it, all of them are like that. Actually the yellow wasn't so bad, but you can still see a little bit in there, especially in this little box. But my black was the worst and um, I cleaned it out pretty good, but you can still see the water in there. Like I said, they've been sitting for about a week and a half and they still got condensation. They are drying, but s slowly. So that 
I'm gonna leave for another video. And just to let you guys know, I did change up a few things. If some of you guys know, I had all my printers by the front window, and I think that might have been creating uh, some of my issues. Sorry, let me just angle you here so I can get a little bit further away. Sorry, I know the camera's not still, but. So I think that was creating most of my issues. So I decided to build, if you can see, I built a shelf. Um, this is just regular uh, cabinet uh, shelving. Um, and I used, I think it's one by two uh, wood. And I just sliced them down and, and made the frame to actually hold everything. It's nice and sturdy, nice and hard. Um, the shelf that I had in the front, I put it over here with just my regular printer. I'm sorry about the dog barking, but we just got a new, uh, let's see if I can show you guys my new little female Frenchie. And she's a barker, of course she is. She likes to be known. Come here, girl. I guess she doesn't want to say hi to people. But anyway, um, those of you guys know, I had a whole tier here with all my vinyl. I actually moved them here. So it just gives me a little bit of a separation from um, the people walking in. It just made it more closer. Hey girl. So uh, excuse the noise. Um, so yeah, I just moved my press here. Now the 15 by six. All right guys, sorry about that. I. The dog wouldn't stop barking, so I just had to cut the video right there and I put her away so that way. I mean, she barks more than my male Frenchie, uh, which is, he's older, he's uh, about seven years old, so he, he, he knows the deal already. Uh, so back to what I was saying, let me flip you guys around. So uh, what I was saying is the 16 by 20 heat press that I had in mind that was on back ordered, I ended up getting my money back and I just didn't go with it because it was just taking too long and I still don't have that 16 by 20 press that I really need. So with all that being said, I'm gonna look out for another uh, heat press and hopefully I should be able to get it. So yeah, I moved everything there. I moved all my vinyl up top. Uh, of course, I got my uh, decal vinyl on the right side. Left side, I got my uh, HTV vinyl. Um, so yeah, it, it shorted me some space. And, um, but I made room for, you know, what I needed. So that, that was great. Um, it was just too much, uh, I guess condensation and heat and stuff like that. And I think that's what actually uh, messed up my my printer there. Uh, over here, I just moved my shipping station and my Cameo at the bottom. And of course the tools and the cleaning supplies, distilled water, Windex. Um, let me flip you guys around. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I've been trying to get everything situated uh, to make it easier for me to work around. Um, I do have a Tumblr press coming through because I'm gonna start selling Tumblr presses on my, my site. Uh, also maybe on, you know, maybe Etsy or Amazon, whatever the case may be. Um, I am working with distributors from overseas and I'm, I'm kind of scared on doing that because I'm I don't want to put my bank information on there and I know people tell me use PayPal. I do have PayPal, but I don't know how that works really. Uh, I try to keep all my information safe. So, I mean, I've been looking at AliExpress. I also been looking at Alibaba and I've been seeing a lot of the stuff uh, cheap and I, I, I really, 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 really do want to get into it and order, you know, some bulk orders, but I haven't found a trustworthy uh, distributor. Um, not sure, maybe you guys know, leave it in the comments below and I will check them out for distributors or if you know a distributor here in uh, the US that can fulfill what I need, uh, 
from tumblers and uh, machinery and stuff like that. And maybe I'll check them out and see if I can order some from them instead. Um, I did get a few other things that I guess I'll mention them as they come in. But yeah, that's this is just a short video uh, of what's going on and why I haven't been around in a few. But I am back, guys, and I will, will start posting more videos. Um, like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It helps us out, helps me grow, it gets the algorithm going, it gets me put out there so more people can view my, my stuff. And I appreciate it, guys, from the bottom of my heart. So on this note, guys, I'm going to let you guys know just a quick little tour of what I've been doing in the shop. And hopefully we become we can make more videos. It's for us to share to you guys. So on this note, guys, peace, be blessed, stay positive, and everything will come through. <laughs>